ever wonder if a book's worth reading? If it's worth the money even buying it? Or if it's even worth all that hype? What about a TV show or a movie? You just can't trust the internet these days. I'm Katie and I'm not afraid to spoil the books and the movies for you. Welcome to Spoiler Alert and I'll spoil anything. Hey everyone, um, welcome to the seventh episode of Spoiler Alert. We're going to talk about The Witch Cave, which is the final book in the Bell Witch series by Sarah Clancy. This book, it just makes me happy. It's just, just perfect. I just love it. You have to read the books because I'm just not doing a good enough job. You get a feel for the characters, Bathsheba, Cadwin, Ozzy, like they're just, they're, they're gold. This is, this book is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Make sure you read it. Okay. Um, this series is the end of the Bell Witch. It's the end of our adventures with the crew from the Harvest, but it's really not the end to their story. I mean, in the sense that it just leaves so much room for their lives at the end of the book. A lot of the times when a book ends, it's like, okay, that's it. No more. It, it doesn't leave room for anything past the story. But you can just, when this book ends, it leaves so much room for a life for each character. So book three starts out um, with Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy is taking a deep, an undercave diving class, like for deep sea. Um, and as he is swimming, um, everything is totally fine. And all of a sudden these great white sharks appear in the diving tank. It's a diving tank in the middle of a building. Like there's no access to the actual ocean, but these great white sharks appear. And unlike normally for the harvest, they can actually touch him, which if you remember from book one, the, the, um, what the demons do is mess with your head. They can't actually touch you till you get into the forest. So it's a pretty big deal. Also, it's like two, three days before the harvest. It's too early. So he he's not quite sure why he's seeing these, but they can touch him and they're trying to kill him. He manages to escape with the water turning to blood and everything, but he doesn't get a music box. Um, at the same time Ozzy is going through this, Mina is going to visit an opera house called the Leviathan instead of going to her parents' house for their annual barbecue that they have around the time of the harvest every year. This is because she's been exiled. Um, her family prefers to keep the, everyone else in the dark unless they have to go through the harvest which in Mina's experience it ended up being bad it almost killed her because she had no idea what she was doing and in the end naivety doesn't save them it kills them so Mina instead of keeping her keeping quiet she decides to tell her brother and everyone else what happened while she was in the forest and this made her dad angry so now she's been exiled so rather than going to the family barbecue, she, along with a family friend, go to an opera house called the Leviathan. Um, it's supposedly one of the most haunted buildings in America, and that's where Wilhelmina plans on testing several of her theories in, for that if they have to kill the witch again, she can use these theories to help fight Katrina. Um, as they get into the opera house, it's like really cool, it's really ornate, um, Mina learns that the woman who the opera house was built for is actually a relative of Bathsheba Bell. Um, and the, this woman who is an opera singer, she was a witch. So Bathsheba is actually related to witches. Um, and that's like, that's a big deal. It's a big reveal for Mina. As she is, you know, doing her ghost hunting thing, she falls through a unknown trap door underneath the, the orchestra pit um, and is separated from the group. As she tries to make her way back to the group, bees appear. And if you remember, she is terrified of bees and they chase her and attack her and sting her. As she's running away, some ghost dogs appear. And as she, so she runs farther away from the ghost dogs. And as she's doing so, she runs into Buck and Bathsheba. 
uh, but Shiva tells her that she was just there for a family tradition and asks why and asks what what's going wrong with Mina. Uh, Mina explains what she's seen and Bashiva explains that the only things that were supposed to be there were the dog ghosts. The bees were Katrina and that just makes Bashiva angry. She's like, how dare she trespass on my family property? Um, as they're talking, Mina gets several texts. She gets a voicemail from Ozzy explaining what happened during his diving class, but she also gets a text from her brother, Jeremiah, and he has been selected for the harvest. So Mina and Bathsheba, they race to Black Water, or Black River, sorry, Black River, Tennessee. Um, and when they get there, Bathsheba, Bathsheba and Mina, this whole time you get a sense for a different kind of relationship. It's not hated, hatred anymore. They're a lot closer. And it, it's really because of their mutual desire to kill Katrina that they have grown, grown closer. And as such, um, Mina gives, or I'm sorry, Bathsheba gives Mina what she calls a witch hunting kit so that she can give that to Jeremiah and he can hopefully hopefully survive the forest. So she says hi to hi to Jeremiah and runs into her father who lets her have it for appearing at a family function without his permission. Um, Mina's like, listen, I don't need your permission. And her father tells her in no uncertain terms that he thinks that her being on track to join the FBI and becoming a surgeon is a waste of her time and that she should be getting married and having babies and that he has set up for her to meet the son of a co-worker to marry and have babies with. Nina's like, no, 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 no. She's like, I'm never having kids. Um, at, as the tension grows in this argument, Bathsheba makes her grand entrance and she's like, okay, a bell got picked and it wasn't me who's dying. Yes. And it's her cousin. Um, as she and Mina and Jeremiah all kind of, they're just bickering back and forth. They're bantering, having a good time. Cadwin appears. And Cadwin and steals uh, Bathsheba's beer. And they, they as they're bantering, it comes out that Cadwin and Bathsheba got married. Just so that... Uh, Bathsheba can use Cadwin's health insurance but it really like you can tell that they have a deep connection I personally felt that Cadwin even though he's 10 years older than Bathsheba I felt like they were a good couple like an actual couple maybe they weren't lovey-dovey but I personally got the feeling that they were in love and that even though it didn't, they didn't say it outright in the book, I totally felt that they belonged together. Um, however, if Cadwin was a real person, I would volunteer his tribute to marry him. He is awesome. Top-notch man. The news of, of Bathsheba and Cadwin's marriage just starts an uproar with all four of the families. They are like, oh my gosh, this is against the rules. Uh, Bathsheba's cousin says it's inbreeding even though Cadwin and Bathsheba are not actually related and uh Cadwin's like we're, we're not related it's fine we're not related and she, uh, her name's Clarice she's like no no it's inbreeding this is gross and it's just that it causes a huge uproar people start fighting and in the midst of this huge chaos <laughs> there's an explosion and Katrina sets the river on fire and it opens a portal and a devil comes out of the portal. And we're talking a devil like a, a goat man with horns. And it's like, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. It really doesn't say, she doesn't come out and say, hey, <laughs> this is blasphemy. You guys shouldn't have gotten married. But that's what everyone's thinking. Everyone's thinking that Katrina lost it because Cadwin and Bathsheba got married. Cadwin and Bathsheba and Mina and Jeremiah, Jeremiah all separate from the party because now it, they, they can't be there. There's a freaking devil there and it's on fire. Everyone is leaving. The barbecue is moving to like a, a place like 20 miles out of town. But um, our friends meet up with Ozzy 
and they go to the witch caves, which is a real place in Tennessee. Um, and Mina says that during her research, she has come to believe that even though there was a pauper's grave with Katrina's name on it, and even though there is an actual grave with Katrina's name on it in the cemetery, she believes that the the body of Katrina was actually buried in the caves. This is in the 1800s. There's no way any self-respecting Christian was going to bury a witch on sacred grounds. They weren't going to do that. So they are positive that Katrina's body is in the caves. So what they've done is they, Ozzy footed the bill for all of them to have those cave diving classes and he brought the equipment. Well, in the, the idea is that they were going to enter through the tourist entrance for the cave, the witch's caves, and then go cave diving to locate um, the, the, the body of Katrina and then destroy Katrina's body. When they get there um, to the witch's caves, Cadwin is distracted by what looks to be his brother. If you guys remember, his brother is the one who did not lock his box on time and ended up being possessed by a demon. The same demon that ripped out all of Cadwin's teeth and tortured him for a year before Cadwin had to kill his brother. Um, Cadwin is like almost possessed and he just chases after what he thinks is his brother. He ends up punching out a tour guide and creating this big, huge stink in chasing his brother into the caves. The, his brother kind of leads him off into a secluded area uh, of the caves where it's dark. And that's where he thinks he sees the demon, the demon that essentially killed his brother, Abraham. So Cadwin and his basically possessed state starts to beat the what he thinks is the demon with a rock um and buck comes and just tears cadwin a new one when the pain kind of wakes cadwin up from his like his trance and he sees that what he was really beating with a rock was poor Bathsheba, and he just tore her face up um once Pesheva comes to, she, they, they kindly break everything up and they're like, okay, so this is bad. Cadwin's got to just uh, stitch up Pesheva's mouth. Mina's got to help Cadwin. Jeremiah is freaking out. He, he is, you get a sense early on that he is entirely useless. He's freaking out. He just beat her up. It's like, bro, calm down. <laughs> calm down. If Pesheva's not bothered by it, maybe you need to calm down. Um, Ozzy and his parents go to kind of play uh, um, intermediary with the tour guide that Cadwin beat up. In the process of Ozzy's parents being distracted, the cult comes and kind of corners the gang. Um, so Ozzy joins the gang and the cult, this time, they've learned their lesson. They don't have pitchforks and torches. They didn't bring rope. They brought guns and they mean business. They're like, hey, we're going to kill you, but we want to kill you at a specific place in the caves. So start walking. They lead them to basically what they, they call the cauldron. It's kind of like an indoor waterfall, kind of. It's like a hole in, a, in an underground lake and that leads down further into more rivers and rapids. Um, as they're doing this, um, Bathsheba's thinking, you know, she's like, okay, how can I get us out of this? I only have one honey knife, a dog, my husband, and three kids who are kind of useless. So she's thinking and she's decided that she's going to do what she did last time and basically just make the cult angry to the point where they lose their cool and slip up so that Katrina or that so that Bathsheba can get the upper hand. Um, to do this, she tells her uncle, hey, guess what? You know how you tried to pay off all those people to rape me? Well, after they did that, I decided I wanted a hysterectomy. He's like, well, no doctor would do a hysterectomy on you. You were too young. She's like, no, you're right. They wouldn't. So what I did was I took a knife and I, she just cut up her entire lower abdomen. Um, 
basically destroying her womb and her ovaries, all of it, all of her reproductive organ organs had to be taken out. So before she had entirely finished her first period, she hit menopause because she was like, no, 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 no. This, this is not going to happen. And Isaac uh, but she was uncle just to say, he's like you did not you did not and she's like well she lifts up her shirt and shows him the scars she's like actually I did I don't know what kind of deal you made with Katrina for um including like these mythical babies I was gonna have but now the only way to fill this debt is your life and your daughter's life and he is furious and he tries to charge at her because and just out of blind fury and what does Bathsheba do she does what Bathsheba does best and she kills him and she kills him dead there was a lot of stabbing there was a lot of blood in doing so um that just pisses off the cult more they're like what do you think are you you're gonna gain from that we're still gonna kill you and she's like oh really because she I think that would piss off Katrina and she shows that she has Jeremiah who has been selected. She's like, look, we have one of the witches selected with us. So go ahead and kill us. There's nothing you can do. You're just going to make Katrina angry. And then she throws herself and Jeremiah over the edge into the cauldron. Um, then the rest of the gang are like, all right, we'll, we'll follow Bathsheba. <laughs> and they throw themselves over the edge into the cauldron as well. Um, Bathsheba state we we get a we get a perspective from Pashiva's mind and she's telling Jeremiah don't let go of the box don't lose the box I don't know why the cult wants it so bad but if they want it I want it don't lose the box in the process of this this river he he kicks Bashiba because for some reason he thinks he's helping himself because he's stupid and there all these hands appear in the river and they're grabbing and trying to drown her. And Bathsheba says something in her mind about, I'm sorry, I didn't finish the ritual. I need more help than this. She ends up getting on like the shore of a tunnel in the underground caves. It's basically just this huge cave system. And she sees Jeremiah there. She sees Ozzy there and Mina, but she doesn't see the two people that she cares most about, Buck, her dog, and Cadwin. So in this really weird display, um, she skins the back of her hand, throws the skin into the water and says, if you save them, I'll give you more. The water flashes blue and then Cadwin comes out of the water just fine. Um, and a couple minutes later, the same thing happens with Buck. Um, and that really freaks Jeremiah out. He's like, what is going on? Uh, he need full blown meltdown, screaming, crying, the works. He's like, what is going on? I deserve to know what is going on. Did you just make a deal with a demon? Um, and then we learn some pretty interesting stuff about Bathsheba. What we learn is that the same ancestor who was a witch, um, the last name was Alloway. She made, she made a deal with the demon and it was such a big deal that it, it, it consumed the family for generations. Bathsheba said that with a lot of work from ancestors, they were able to get the deal whittled down to where they just make a sacrifice once a year for it to leave them alone. Um, and the big question is, what kind of sacrifice, right? We learn that they're human sacrifices, but Bathsheba's family likes to do it with a little twist. Um, they'll do serial killers, rapists, child abusers, animal abusers, um, it, bad people. They will, <laughs> they will essentially hunt down these people and then sacrifice them to this demon. Now, Bathsheba freaked out when she didn't see Buck or Cadwin and she so she made another deal with this demon she said hey save them and I will bring I will give you more sacrifices which isn't smart but also at the same time you kind of understand why she did it like it's her husband and her dog and like I, I'm just saying there's a lot of people I would be willing to sacrifice for my dog <laughs> so um after Jeremiah calms down the team 
decides to navigate the tunnels to try and locate some equipment that Ozzy was luckily able to throw down a shaft near the entrance to the witch caves. Unfortunately, as they're doing this, they run into none other than the Mahaha, which isn't in the forest. The Mahaha tries to kill them and it tears up Mina's poor face, um, but they get away and Cadwin stitches up Mina's face. Uh, they give Mina and Bathsheba both some time to rest because they've both been seriously hurt in their adventures. And then they decide to take one of the tunnel shafts to try and find the witch's body and just get rid of it themselves. Um, as they're doing this, um, they're crawling through this tunnel. It's a really, really, really small tunnel. Like they're crawling on their stomachs. It's tight quarters. A hole opens up beneath them and they all get separated. Bathsheba and Cadwin end up in the abandoned insane asylum where Cadwin had spent the last eight months with his brother who was possessed by the demon. Um, but she was like, I should have helped you. And Cadwin's like, you were two. <laughs> you couldn't have helped me. You were two, but thanks for offering. And then they get sucked into another hole. Meanwhile, um, Mina and Buck are, um, well, actually I'm going to tell you about Ozzy and Jeremiah first. Ozzy and Jeremiah find themselves in a snow covered forest. Um, and Katrina is telling them, watch, 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 watch. As they watch, uh, a young version of Bathsheba comes running out of the forest and is being chased by this huge dude who says, if you just do what you're told, it'll hurt less. Like we believe that big guy. Anyways, so Bathsheba, when, when Ozzy and, um, Jeremiah track down Bathsheba again, she's just sitting down crying and the guy is circling towards her. As he's doing this, um, Bathsheba's younger brother jumps up on the guy and he is completely unfazed. What does faze him though is when Bathsheba slits his throat. Um, and then Bathsheba and her younger brother start talking about which cut they're going to eat. Yeah, Bathsheba was a cannibal. <laughs> and then Ozzy and Jeremiah get sucked into another hole. While all of this is happening, uh, Mina wakes up with just Buck. And um, she and Buck are surrounded by these hands trying to grab them and pull them down, probably into their own little hole, similar to what, um, similar to what Bathsheba, Cadwin, Ozzy, and Jeremiah are going through. But every time Mina swings her bag over near um the hands they kind of like bend and they're no longer tangible what mina figures out is that this gigantic magnet she'd had in her bag kind of as a theory um is actually bending the energy to the point where those ghost hands can't use it anymore it doesn't work on monsters like the mahaha or the minotaurs but it does work on ghosts um, as she's experimenting with this, she spots the cult and she realizes the cult has an easy to access and safe way to get to the witch's bones. So she and the dog, uh, Buck, go after the cult. When they get to the destination of the cult, um, they find their Whitney. She's the, the really, really big lady who is the leader of the cult. She is telling them, oh, the, the, the witch wants you to be happy, to party. Here, drink this wine. And all of the cult members drank it and were poisoned and died. Um, a bunch of minotaurs and a demon show up and Whitney says, I only promised the blood to Katrina. So you guys can go ahead and give Katrina the blood, but the bodies are mine. Which then Mina, it clicks for Mina. Whitney is a witch and she's making her own deals similar to what Katrina made and why Katrina is now scam scrambling for sacrifices of her own. Uh, the minotaurs in similar fashion to the way they were sacrificing the bulls um, grab limbs of the dead bodies 
and tear them apart and let the blood empty out on the bones of the witch. And then they burn the bodies um, for Whitney's offering. And then um, out of a hole in the ceiling come Bathsheba, Cadwin, Jeremiah, and Ozzy. Um, basically, Whitney only cares about Bathsheba. And she says, hey, Bathsheba's going to be a special present for Katrina. And she just starts smacking Bathsheba. Buck is like, chomping at the bit to get Bathsheba but Mina's not letting him she's like listen no, don't give our position away we're hidden don't don't do that um Cadwin Jeremiah and Ozzy they're all stripped of all of their possessions so Cadwin's med bag Bathsheba's backpack uh Jeremiah's box they're, they're all thrown off to the side and the three guys kind of like hide off in a corner even though Whitney knows exactly where they are. Um, Mina has Buck um, fetch the bags and then she uses her knowledge of chemistry because she's a super smart Harvard person and makes homemade black powder. Um, that's like, that's an explosive for those of you who don't know what that is. And she throws it into the bonfire at the same time she tells Buck, kill <laughs> and so Buck does in the chaos um Mina um gets the knife to Bathsheba and she and Cadwin and Buck they're just killing while Jeremiah and Ozzy are trying not to die meanwhile Mina takes the med bag and she goes and she gathers up the bones um but as she's trying to walk away with the bones of Katrina she's confronted by Whitney who uses some magic and makes the bag melt into um, Mina's hands. Mina's like, okay, listen, if I burn these bones, if I get rid of these bones, everything ends. Like, that, that's it. So she throws herself and the bag of bones into the bonfire. <laughs> um, next thing we know, uh, Mina wakes up. And she's in a hospital, like a super expensive hospital. Obviously, the bill's being footed by Ozzy and his stupid rich parents. And we learned that she won. Uh, when she burned the bones, the box, um, Jeremiah's box disappeared and the others just walked out of the forest. We learn that the FBI is currently looking for Whitney and her psycho self. And that Mina has third degree b b burns all over her entire body. She has nerve damage in her left hand and she may lose the use of her legs. But she was like, you know what? You were going to be a profile. You weren't a profiler. You're not going to be a field agent. You're probably going to be fine. Um, and that's it. That's where the book ends. I hope you liked this episode of Spoiler Alert. I truly love these books. They get a 10 out of 10 for me. I highly recommend them to anyone who has the stomach to read about cannibals <laughs> and demons and human sacrifice. Um, it's really good. Very well written. Like I said, I just kind of fell in love with the characters. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe and please, please, please share this with other people who you think will like this. Make sure to leave comments below as to what you think I can do better or maybe books that you want me to review for you guys. Uh, so that way you don't have to read it to find out if it's any good. Um, if you want to know more about the book, you can always find this entire series on Amazon or on Audible. That's where I got mine. Um, and you guys have a great night.